Hey everyone, this is Big Face from Big Face Robotics. Back with part two of the Big Wheel Bot build. Uh, you can see from the last video, I've been playing around with the uh, ordering of the components and the weight distribution on the robot. Uh, I've moved the batteries up above the sort of drive chassis, and the electronics are still on top there. Uh, I wanted to test something out. Uh, I wanted to see if I could get the robot to balance. I've never built a balancing robot, so I thought that would be a good opportunity to test this out. And just to stop the robot from rolling all the way forward, I've added a couple of uh, couple of bits of aluminium to uh, to stop the robot tipping forward. Um, I've done a bit of work on the software uh, to get it to balance, and that is just about successful, as you'll see from this uh, this test I'm doing here. So in principle this would work as a balancing robot, uh, the battery weight there is enough to keep the robot stable, you see in the test I hadn't uh, tuned up the, the PID gain settings uh, much so it was a bit, a bit wobbly but in principle it would work as a balancing robot but I don't think that's the way I'm going to uh, I'm going to go with this project. I still want to be able to drive this outside over lumps and bumps and uh, and I'm not sure a balancing robot is the best best method for doing that. So what I'm probably going to do is put this back to how it was configured before and I'm thinking of adding Cast the wheel to the rear of the robot like that. Um, this will help. Uh, this will stop the robot wanting to tip as it drives. It'll turn it into a, a three-wheel differential drive robot, essentially. And then I'll run some more tests after that. So that's the uh, that's the next job. I'm going to put the batteries back underneath and uh, and add this caster wheel to the rear of the robot. So there we go, the robot back to its original configuration. Spin it around, you can see what I've done at the back here. Um, 3D printed bracket, a length of aluminium uh, sort of box section, and the caster wheel is mounted to the back and a little end cap just to tidy things up a little bit. So from the side, that's what the robot now looks like. <laughs> So the test outside went well, you can see the robot's got plenty of power uh, no problem getting over lumps and bumps and rough uh, ground and things like that. Uh, you can see it's a bit, a bit liable to tip over, which isn't ideal. And after a bit more testing indoors, actually, I had a bit of an incident. The uh, rear caster mounting bracket actually snapped off. The robot ran into something, and and this broke, uh, which is a bit of a shame, but not the end of the world. And it does give an opportunity to try something different. And what I've got is I've actually got two of these casters. There we go. I bought a pair when I bought these. And what I'm actually thinking now is actually having one either side of the robot to try and uh, keep the robot from tipping either either way. Now, I could redesign the chassis and move the batteries further out the back. So the weight's sort of over a uh, one caster to stop the robot tipping, but I'm really keen to try and keep the uh, keep the compact sort of robot form that I've got here. I think it's really cool. So what I might do now is design another 3D printed bracket and have a, a caster front and back of the robot, so that it still looks like a nice compact design, uh, but with a, a caster front and back to stop it tipping over. So I'm going to redesign. A new bracket to replace this one 
uh, print off two of them and uh, we'll test that out. Okay, so I've printed a new bracket and all installed and you can see I've got a caster each end of the robot and uh, I think it looks pretty good. It doesn't take away too much from the original design of having the, just the two big wheels with the centre section of the robot and obviously now the robot can't tip forward or back so I'm going to take it for a test run The test drive you've just seen, that was a little while ago. I've, uh, I've been doing a bit of work since then. Um, I'm going back to the drawing board on this uh, on this project. Uh, you can see from the clip uh, with the caster wheel front and back, any bumps in the path or across the, uh, the garden that the robot was hitting, um, it was stopping the robot dead. Real trouble getting up over those bumps. So I've gone back to the drawing board a little bit the idea of a sort of balancing type robot that was great great fun would have worked really well indoors on the carpet but i want this robot to be able to drive around outside and uh, and be a bit more off-road um, than the current design so this is what i'm working on now uh, as you can see i've rebuilt the sort of plate that the motors and bearings and everything rest on um, like so I've got some aluminium angle uh, that I'm using to to make the rest of the chassis. The batteries are going to sit in there and it's pretty obvious that this has moved most of the weight to behind the, the axle where the wheels are going to mount. So this will stop the robot from tipping uh, back to a more standard sort of uh, three-wheel drive robot design and I'm gonna have to redesign the caster and mount that on the back there. So, um, so there we go, I've kept the good bits, the bits I liked of the project. Uh, the wheels and, the, and these gears, um, they're brilliant, they seem to be doing the job. Uh, the motor encoder arrangement that I've got going on here, uh, that's, uh, that's working, that'll do, do what I need it to do. You can see the encoder discs I've mounted to the the drive gears and uh, that's my encoder up there a nice sort of package all together there um, works really nicely uh, the cast is fine and the control um, circuitry was working fine as well it was just the fact that the robot was tipping tipping like that so I'm going to carry on working on this I'm going to put this together as a as a chassis and, uh, and I can start moving on from there so there we are this is probably big wheel bot mark 2 uh, more or less completely rebuilt a new chassis new caster uh, you can see the batteries are now sat hanging out behind the axle for weight distribution and I've rebuilt the top electronics plate needs a bit of tidying of the wires but it's all there and, and working again so slightly different from the original vision but still looks pretty cool, I think. Uh, plenty of ground clearance. And, uh, it's ready for a little test out in the garden, see how it performs.
So there we go, a successful test. Um, a much more suitable design really for sort of outdoor use, uh, off-road. Uh, makes good use of the, the big wheels and obviously with the batteries hanging out as they are um, it's much more stable. Still looks very similar from the front which is nice. But, uh, yeah, there we go. With the encoders in there as well I've got the closed loop speed control which makes driving it a lot easier. So I'll be carrying on development of this in the next video. I've got some uh, some ideas of what I actually want this robot to do. So um, come back soon and uh, as always, thanks for watching.